This video will show you how to change an object's shape in AutoCAD LT. The commands used to make these types of modifications are stretch, fillet, and chamfer. Let's start with the stretch command. The stretch command is located on the modify panel of the home tab. It enables you to move one or more ends or edges of an object individually. After you start the command, you must use a crossing window to select objects. You also have to be careful to only window around the ends and edges you want to modify. If you pick an object directly, or enclose the entire object inside the crossing window, it will move instead of stretch. You can see the different behavior when I window around one corner of this rectangle and stretch it, as opposed to when I window around an entire edge and stretch. The stretch command supports multiple selections, so you can use more than one crossing window to select the objects to stretch. However, each object can only be included in one window per stretch. In other words, you can't stretch two sides of a rectangle at the same time. The fillet command connects two objects with an arc of a specified radius that is tangent to the objects. The fillet command is also available on the modify panel of the home tab. When you start the command, you'll see several options displayed at the command line or through the dynamic prompt. Undo is only useful after you've already filleted an object. Polyline enables you to apply the same radius to all corners of a polyline at once. Radius sets the fillet radius defining the size of the arc. I will select this option and specify a fillet radius of 1.5. I'm then prompted to select the first object to fillet, in this case the top line, and then for the second object, at which point an arc is drawn connecting the two lines. Setting the radius to zero enables you to create a sharp corner without an arc. However, you can use the shift key to temporarily set the radius to zero. This way you can easily create a sharp corner. You see at the command line that our current radius is 1.5. But when I select the first object, hold down the shift key, and select the second object, a sharp corner is created. The last two options in the fillet command are trim and multiple. The trim option controls the trim mode, which defines whether the object is trimmed back to the newly created arc or corner, or left intact. The default is to trim these extra edges, and most people leave it set this way. Normally, the fillet command ends after creating one radius or corner, but if you have many lines to fillet, use the multiple option. This enables you to continue selecting pairs of lines to apply the fillet. The chamfer command is very similar to the fillet command, except that it creates a beveled corner instead of a rounded one. Chamfer and fillet are so similar, in fact, that they've been combined into one ribbon button. Many of the options are the same as well, namely undo, polyline, trim, and multiple. The options that belong entirely to chamfer are distance, angle, and method. With the distance option, you can specify the distances from the end points of the lines to the beginning of the chamfer. The two distances defining the chamfer can be the same or different. For example, I will enter 1 for the first chamfer distance and 2 for the second. The angle option requires only one distance and then the angle of the chamfer line, for example, one unit and 45 degrees. The method option simply toggles between the distance and angle methods. Now you have seen the stretch, fillet, and chamfer commands, which are the three basic ways to change an object's shape in AutoCAD LT. For more information on AutoCAD LT features and commands, please visit the LT homepage at www.autodesk.com slash AutoCAD LT.